Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. I'm currently just waiting for my friend Hannah. We're gonna meet up for lunch, and it's been a while since I've seen her, so we have lots of catching up to do, but Friday during lunchtime was honestly the only time that worked for both of us this week, and I've been trying to meet this girl for almost two weeks now, so um, I'm just gonna meet up with her soon and head to lunch during our work day. I know. sunny in Seattle today, partly sunny, so we're having a little day date, and yeah, we'll see where our day goes. Shy and vloggy. You're shy? Yeah. Don't be shy. There's still lots of snow here, and we weren't expecting that. Are you doing good over there? Yeah, but look at the parking lot. I know. Are you enjoying our outdoor date? Yeah. Yeah. And the food. <laughs> single time I'm working just comes here and bothers me and then when I start typing he really hates it because it's noisy <laughs> So today is another work from home day. Not only is it Monday, but it's also really gloomy and rainy outside. After a few days of really good weather, Seattle just decided to give us another bad day, which is fine. At least I'm just working from home today, but yeah, a little quick work update, I guess. I officially started a new project. If you guys saw my last workday vlog, um, you would have known that I've just been onboarding and the onboarding phase has been really good so far. I think it's just very chill and I'm excited to start a new project though because that's how I learn best. And I'm really excited for this new project because this feature that we're trying to build out um, it's just really different than what I've worked with previously in my other team. The user base for this product in general is a lot bigger, so I feel like I'm making a bigger impact through this project, if that makes sense. I'm trying to explain everything while trying to maintain my privacy in which org I work at within Amazon, and also just for like legal reasons, but basically I'm really excited to be working on this project because it's a product that I use on a daily basis and it has a really wide user base, so I think it'll be interesting to see how my contribution to this project is gonna impact the overall um, experience of this product and I'm just really excited to see it um, go through and go live and that won't be for another few months but we are starting the coding implementation now so yeah I'm just really excited it's gonna be a bigger or probably one of the biggest projects I've worked on in Amazon 
um, so I'm really happy to partner up with this other developer um, to get this done so yeah that's kind of like a quick work update from my end and I hope that made some sense <laughs> um, but anyway I'm gonna finish up work by the way look how cute my new Stanley is anyway I'm gonna go back to work I didn't know any of this until like I You also it. started working on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got <laughs> um, but anyway I just found myself a little phone booth to take my next meeting um, it's not actually a work meeting it's more of just a casual virtual coffee chat with one of you guys from the community um, I always love connecting with my subscribers especially other females in tech um, just because I feel like I just resonate a lot with other tech girlies it's just very empowering to talk to you guys and yeah, I'm just excited to get on this chat. Um, it's starting right now, so I will check in with you guys later. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for reaching out. I really love like appreciate these type of moments, so yeah, thank you. I'm actually vlogging right now. <laughs> if you want to say hi. if you guys noticed but Howell and I have a new couch <laughs> I really love this couch Howell really loves it too he does tend to scratch this one a little bit more just because it's a boucle fabric and it's able he's like able to claw at it um, but because it's boucle it doesn't really you can't really tell if he scratches it um, because of the texture itself but I'm hoping to kind of train him out of it because it honestly annoys me every single time he scratches it but it's something I knew going in but I really wanted this couch so I kind of compromised on that I'm currently trying to set up this sunset lamp to make my place a little bit more cozy um, yeah I'll probably just set this up and do some editing for the rest of the night So I am going to end my work night with some editing. I try to be consistent and upload every two weeks, like upload a new video every two weeks. And to be fully transparent right now, I kind of feel like I'm in a creative rut or maybe it's just because I came back from vacation like a month ago and I'm onboarding with the new team. So I feel like my days aren't normal yet. Like. I feel like I haven't really found my pace again. I guess the best way I could put it right now is that I'm trying to find my normal pace of productivity again. Right now, I still feel like I'm in vacation mode, which I'm not. So I'm just trying to find my normal pace and my normal routine. Um, and I honestly think it's just because I came back from vacation a month ago and I'm still kind of in that vacation mode phase um, yeah I'm gonna get over it but 
yeah, I do feel like I'm in a creative rut. Honestly, I sometimes doubt my own content because at the end of the day, I'm just like filming my own life and filming my career journey, productivity, and just my silly little life. And sometimes I question myself if it really is meaningful content. Um, but I know at the end of the day, it's just whatever I'm happy with, I feel like it's all that matters. Um, so. I think I'm trying to not overthink and I'm an overthinker in general um, so I kind of get into this negative cycle in my head where I think I'm not good enough or I don't think my content is good enough okay so I'm just gonna stop blabbing on right now because I honestly don't even know what I'm saying and I'm not even sure if I'm articulating how I feel at the moment properly so I'm just gonna do some editing and call it a night here <laughs>